morning. Welcome to 49ers and 5, your daily update on everything happening with the team that you need to know. I'm Rob Stats Guerrero. Today is Monday, April 1st, 2024. Here's what's happening with your San Francisco 49ers. The Niners may have found their new backup tight end, but it is a little complicated. Don't worry, I will explain everything. San Francisco extended an offer sheet to restricted free agent tight end Brock Wright of the Detroit Lions. Now, it's a little complicated because the Niners have offered him three years, $12 million, with $6 million of that fully guaranteed, according to Adam Schefter. Because Wright is a restricted free agent, the Lions have until Wednesday to decide whether or not they want to match that contract. If they do, Wright goes back to the Lions and the 49ers are SOL. But if Detroit declines to match the offer, then the Niners get right. They don't owe the Lions any compensation whatsoever. Now, I know what you're wondering. Who is Brock Wright? Well, he's a backup tight end with the Detroit Lions. He's been there for three years. He was an undrafted free agent in 2021. He had just 14 catches for 91 yards last year, but he was 20th among all tight ends in blocking snaps. So clearly, we know what his role is going to be with the 49ers. And as David Lombardi pointed out, Wright went to Notre Dame where he was a fullback, H-back type of guy. So it's possible he could be kind of the Kyle Juszczyk understudy, maybe, for the 49ers. He also was a teammate of current 49ers guard Aaron Banks when they were both at Notre Dame. We'll keep an eye on that. Again, the Lions have until Wednesday to decide to match. The other story you might have seen, and don't get worried about this one. There was a report from Mike Garofolo of NFL media that the Niners and Brandon Ayuk are far apart in contract talks. That's okay. It's April. We got plenty of time. We know the Niners like to get these things done in August. Not exactly surprising that they're far apart, right? Everybody's putting their best foot forward. You never accept the first offer, all of that stuff. Uh, Garofolo did say Brandon Ayuk believes he's a top receiver and wants to be paid like it, whereas the 49ers are not quite there yet. But again, it's early in negotiations. Don't freak out. Garofolo did say Brandon Ayuk could skip voluntary workouts. That is not exactly surprising. He's got to use the leverage that he has. And again, we'll see if it actually happens. We always give you one thing to read, one thing to watch, and one thing you might have missed. One thing to read on this Monday. We are down to the final four in the 49ers media madness bracket. We have Brad Graham against Matt Mayoko on one side of the bracket, and we have Eric Crocker, defending champ, against Larry Kruger in the other side. If you want to go vote, click the link in the description of this episode. One thing to watch, this is really cool. The NFL tweeted out a video of Trent Williams breaking down five running plays with his time from the 49ers, from his time with the 49ers, I should say. Strike that, reverse it. Really cool. Trent is actually really good with the media and breaking stuff down. It's a, it's a short video, so it won't take you long. Again, click the link in the description of this episode. One thing you may have missed actually comes from the world of basketball. It happened in the NCAA tournament between North Carolina State and Texas. The three-point lines were not the same on both sides of the court. They were different distances away from the hoop in the NCAA tournament, in the Elite Eight. Apparently, there's no sports league in America that actually cares about the playing surface on which the players perform. Both teams, by the way, agreed to just run with it and have the game anyway, rather than delay the start. So, good on them. I guess. That's a wrap on today's 49ers and 5. Please rate, review, and follow the Gold Standard Podcast Network. Like and subscribe to the YouTube channel. Click the bell. You'll get notified every single time we go live, which is every single weekday for you today. I'll be live with Vish, 5 p.m. Pacific time. We're going Vish after dark today. Me and Vish, again, 5 p.m. Pacific time. We will do our show. We'll talk about Brock Wright. We'll talk about this IU stuff. Please, please join us for that. Enjoy your Monday, everybody. I'm Rob Stats Guerrera. We'll talk later today.